what does fasting mean? Literally speaking, fasting means to stop or to abstain from doing something. Literally what we do, we stop from eating, drinking and having sexual relations with our wives during the time of fasting which starts from the dawn and it goes all the way to the sunset. This is basically the meanings of fasting. Fasting was made obligatory by Allah the Almighty in the month of Shaban in the second year of Hijrah when Allah the Almighty revealed this verse of Surah Al-Baqarah it says Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba ala alladheena min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon O believers fasting has been made obligatory upon you as it was made obligatory upon those nations that were before you so that you may become pious. How should we welcome this month? Is there any particular way to, to celebrate the month of Ramadan, to welcome this month, this holy month of Ramadan? Yes. We may welcome this month by preparing ourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. We may educate ourselves, we may learn the virtues of this month. What are the virtues of this month, the month of Ramadan? Because these are few days, as Allah the Almighty has already said, ayyamam ma'adudat. These are the few days that will quickly come and leave. We will be welcoming Ramadan and then very soon we will be bidding farewell to the month of Ramadan because these are few days. We need to welcome this month. We need to consider him as a precious guest. We need to honor him, respect him. We need to show all of our respect to this month because this is a great month a great opportunity for us to worship Allah the Almighty because the reward of worship in this month is multiplied. The Prophet ﷺ said that the reward of one worship goes, uh, doubles and redoubles until it reaches 70 times. For example, if you pray one prayer, one salat or one namaz in the month of Ramadan, it is as if you have prayed 70 times. If you fast one day, it is as if you have fasted 70 days. So for each and every worship, you get the reward uh, of 70 times of the same worship. One of the ways to welcome this great month is to learn the virtues of this month. What are the virtues of the month of Ramadan? If we know those virtues that are mentioned by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we may make ourselves able to get ready to welcome this month. 